Today, I am going to teach you university problem from the queuing theory chapter. It is very important for beginners to solve problems related to queuing model. So welcome to my YouTube channel, Mechanical Engineering Management. Like, share and subscribe. So let's see the description. At barber shop, the customer arrive at the average interval of 6 minutes and the barber takes on an average 5 minutes for serving the person. Calculate first counter utilization level, second average number of customers in the service, third average number of customers in queue, fourth average waiting time of the customer in the system, next expected average waiting time in the queue, next probability that the barber is ideal, and at last probability that the barber is busy. So we will see all the points one by one. Now here it is given that the customer arrive at the average interval of 6 minutes. That means we can say arrival rate of the customer. And here it is given to you 6 minutes. That is the interval for the customer. So in another word we can say per 6 minute one customer arrives. And so that I can say per 60 minute, that means for one hour, how many customers will arrive. So if you simplify, then we can say 60 by 6. And so that it will be 10 customer per hour. So that is the arrival rate and that is denoted by lambda. Next, barber takes on an average 5 minutes for the serving. So we can say that is the service rate. And here it is given to you 5 minutes average time per customer. So I can say 5 minutes for one customer. So I can say for the 60 minute that means for one hour how many customer will be served. So it is 60 by 5 and so that it will be 12 customer per hour. And that is called as service rate denoted by mu. So once you got this mu and lambda, then definitely you should go for the utilization factor. And that is your first question, counter utilization level. That is equal to lambda by mu. You have to remember this formula, utilization factor rho is equal to lambda by mu. And we have both lambda and mu. So if you put it over here and simplify, then you will get utilization factor 5 by 6 and that is your first answer. So if you simplify, then you will get it 0 0.833. Now next, average number of customers in the service. So you have to remember number of customers that is denoted by capital L and waiting time that is denoted by W. And here it is in the service, so it is denoted by LS. So LS means average number of customers in the system or in another word you can say service. This is the formula for the LS you have to remember. Now we have lambda and mu both. So if you put it over here and simplify then you will get the second answer average number of customer in the service or you can say average number of customer in the system. Next third one average number of customer in the queue and that is denoted by LQ. So L means average number of customer and Q means in the queue. Here it is average number of customer in the system. And that is equal to rho into LS. You have to remember this formula for the LQ. Now we have the rho 0.833 multiplied by LS5 then you will get LQ. Next average waiting time of the customer in the system and that is denoted by WS and you have to remember this formula for WS. We have mu and lambda both. So if you put it over here and simplify then you will get as 0.5 hour and you know that this is waiting time so your unit will be hour. So if you multiply with the 60 then you will get in minute. Next expected average waiting time in the queue. So waiting time in the queue that means WQ. 
so now i am going to write over here wq and once again you have to remember wq is equal to rho into ws so now we have the rho and already we got previously ws so if you put it then you will get wq as 25 minute next probability that the barber is ideal that means barber is free that means there will be no any utilization of the shop and this is utilization factor so i think you can understand ideal probability that means the barber is free and that is indicated by p0 that means probability with zero customer in the shop and you know that this is utilization factor so 1 minus rho will be ideal position so we have rho if you simplify then you will get as 0.167 so this is called as ideal probability also next probability that the barber is busy that means shop is busy so we can say busy probability and already you know that utilization factor of the shop is 0.833 and so that you can say probability for the busy shop is equal to rho and that is equal to 0.833 so if you want to see more videos on operation research then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist so thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video